And I remember one time I was sitting at a board meeting. I came to work, you know, clean, sharp, you know. My stockings was different. It wasn't plain um, stockings to color your legs or or some tight um, taupe. I was wearing um, um, maybe it might be olive green, black, and and beige stockings together. You know, the colors like that, but it really matched my outfit. And I walked in, and you should have seen their faces. It's like, <gasps> oh my God, you didn't tell me she was black. <laughs> and I was usually the only black. As well as the only female in the room. I thought that was strange in this day and time. Uh, you only have one Af African American uh, in your office. You think I'm a token black? Oh my. Mm, mm, mm. So as we were sitting there and we were talking, one of the men said, African Americans just don't value education. What? You are kidding. It blew my mind. And sometimes you're the only black woman at the table. And so when you feel like they're, they're fighting against you, you become mad. And I wanted to just slam my fist down and said, are you kidding? I was just that frustrated. But of course I said, oh no. Because I know if I became angry, that's one thing that you always have to, to really be mindful of because we are stereotyped African-American women is always being angry. It's an emotion that was struck at me and anger came up but I had to suppress that. Mm -hmm. And I said to him, I don't know if you've heard this before, but most career or oriented uh, black people, both men and women, have to perform twice and sometimes even three times mm -hmm. better than their white counterparts. And throughout my career, I did not allow what people thought about me, whether it was racial, sexual, classism, whatever it was, I did not allow that to determine how I would be, how I would perform, how I felt about me. I didn't, I wasn't cocky, but I was self-confident. I stood for something that I knew. And I wanted him to know that I didn't agree with it. Mm -hmm. You handled that so well. But I began to see that uh, my opinions weren't so relevant <laughs> anymore. My ideas weren't so relevant anymore. That I was just supposed to follow along with whatever they wanted to do. And you know, and you can mention an idea, but if it's not coming from certain people, you know, it's, it's just totally irrelevant, you know? Now you go figure.